well pad inversion for peatland restoration. A large number of well sites in northwestern Alberta are constructed on peatland. To restore these sites to their pre-disturbance conditions, two key problems should be addressed. Restore surface hydrologic connectivity of the site with the surrounding peatland. Establish a plant community similar to the surrounding natural peatland. This video shows the three main methods used by the Nate Boreal Research Institute to connect water flow between the edge of the natural peatland and the restored well pad. One, complete pad removal and peat fluffing. A complete pad removal consists of taking away all of the clay material and removing the geotextile that separates the clay from the underlying peat and woody debris. The geotextile removal must be slow and done with care to avoid mixing the peat and the clay. After completely removing the clay pad and geotextile, the dry underlying peat is ready for fluffing. Fluffing uses an excavator or rake attachment to work up the surface of the peat to add volume and break it up. The aim of this method is to expose and decompact the peat layer that was compressed under the clay pad. The depth of peat varies across the site and fluffing helps to achieve the target elevation only where the compressed peat depth is greater than 60 centimeters. Two, complete pad removal and peat inversion. In areas with shallow underlying peat, Peat fluffing alone was insufficient to raise the peat to the level of the adjacent natural peatland. The peat inversion consists of a complete removal of the clay pad and geotextile from a strip, followed by a removal of the peat from the same strip and pile all along the first strip. Establishment of temporary markers to monitor the depth of the clay and peat. Half fill the empty strip with clay from the next strip or adjust the clay to required depth given the quantity of piled peat. Return the piled peat on top of the strip half filled with clay. Lightly compress the peat surface and use the markers to monitor the elevation of the strip to complete the inversion. Three. Partial pad removal and peat inversion. A partial removal of the clay pad means removing the top layer of the clay from the site and leaving the lower 20 to 30 centimeters and the geotextile on site. After partially removing the clay cap all along the strip, create a five meter by five meter opening on the first section of the strip by removing all of the remaining clay and peat. Remove the remaining clay and geotextile from the second section and fill the bottom of the first section. Remove the peat from the second section to cover the clay in the first section. This creates an opening on the second section that is filled by the clay and peat from the third section. Use reference markers established at the edge of the strip to assess the surface elevation. Repeat the process for subsequent sections of the strip.